Will you cut your commission? Because the other agent said he would. Yes. Is not what you should say. Instead, what you should do is dive into this. Call their bluff. Because most of the time, it's really just a bluff. And you can say, what commission rate did they promise you? What I've heard often is that they'll say, well, they promised me they, they would do it for 5% or 4.5% or 4%. Whatever they say, the point is that I've had it often where they'll even say to me that they, they told the commission that I was already going to sign the contract for. Because I want you to hear this more than anything. The purpose of listing a home is to assist your client. And obviously, yes, make money, of course. And you're not really gonna lose a listing over a half of a percent. So there's a multitude of different things that we're gonna talk about in this objection handling process, in this video. Let's dive into a couple different options. First off, first and foremost, you can throw it back in their court. It's like, just curious to see what the agent said. Just curious to know what that agent told you that they would list your home for. And let's just say they come back to you and say four and a half percent. Okay, listen, I would be more than happy to list it for four and a half percent. What typically I do is that, remember, I split a commission with the other broker that's involved. So we'll sign for five percent. And if I sell it myself, I'll be more than happy to do it for four and a half percent. Again, another thing that you can say is like, other than the commission, is there any other reason why you wouldn't sign a listing agreement with me today? If they say no, great, handle the objection, right? Just get right into it. It's like, he's like, well, listen, I'm not gonna sign the listing unless you sign for 3%. Okay, just to be sure, I can show you six different examples of houses that I've sold between 20,000 and 100,000 over asking over the last 90 days. If I can get you $20,000 over asking price, would you be okay with signing the agreement for four, four and a half, five percent, whatever they said? Because listen, in this market, as long as you can get them to agree to a price that should drive up the price, you're gonna be fine. I've done this before where you can tell them like, hey, hey, listen, if I can show you a couple different examples of how I've been able to get my clients, you know, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 over asking price, at the end of the day, what is really an extra 1% gonna matter if I net you an extra 50 grand? As long as you net the same amount of money, what is the difference? So like when you're diving into this, you know, you need to be confident, powerful, and then get off the question. So is there any other reason why you wouldn't sign with me today? That's a couple different ones. And the last one I'll say to you is this. When someone says to you, will you cut your commission? Hypothetically, let's just say something ridiculous. Let's say 3%. Say, just curious, if someone asked you to do your job for half the pay, what would you say? Just curious. Because put it right back in their court and say, listen, I, I'm telling you, you know, this market is incredibly competitive. And most agents don't do a good job for their clients. They don't keep in touch. They have no client service. They don't even do normal professional photos. They, you know, they do a horrible job marketing it. They don't do open houses. They don't do a one-tenth of what myself, my team, whatever you want to say, does for our clients. And the only way that they can get business is by cutting their commission. So they go around saying, hey, I'll do it for next to nothing, basically for free, because after taxes, my broker fee and everything else, it's really like I'm walking away with next to nothing. So again, I'm just curious, if your boss said to you, hey, could you do this job for half the pay, what would you say? So what I'm more than willing to do is X, whatever that is, is, I, is there any other reason why we couldn't move forward at this time? And most of the time, listen, as long as you, you know, substantiate why you're charging what you're charging, they're really not going to have much of a problem. Now, listen, yes, you are going to have the occasion where someone will say to you, you know, a 3% or I'm just going to listen with somebody else. Listen, at the end of the day, taking 1% on your side and giving out 2%, I would rather take 1% than nothing. I have a lot of agents who go, I would never list a home for less than 5%. I'm sorry, but how many houses have you sold? Because most of those people don't sell a lot of homes. I've spoken with top level brokers teams that sell hundreds of homes per year, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of real estate every single year, and they cut their commission. Don't be a stickler, get the listing signed, do whatever it takes, and listen, I'm not telling you just to give in. Yes, you can handle the objection like I've been teaching you in this video. However, don't lose a listing, especially in this market when you know you're gonna basically sell every single home that you list. Hopefully you learned a lot in this video, and if you have any other objections, make sure to comment down below. See you in the next video.